with this big old sprinter right here, this big sprinter fifth wheel. So this is where our leak was, right here, right there by that ladder, right specifically in that corner right there. And it poured all the way down the wall, all the way over here too. On this corner, it poured all the way down the wall. Shake that wall. Shake the wall. So we got to take all that apart. That's what we're doing now. Shaking it apart. Okay, getting everything, all the lights. We're gonna take the ladder. We're gonna take the whole back wall up. And we got to rebuild it and get it relaminated back on there. Then we're gonna put a new roof on it. The roof itself, I don't know why these black lines are on there, but it has a series of black lines going across. You can see already on the shoulder right there, it's already starting to get compromised. So we take that off there. We'll show you more about it. That's what they want you to do, keep dolling that up. That little bit right there, that little bit of damage, that little bit of lack of caulking caused all this damage on the back. And that's what they want. RV industry wants it to fail so they can keep busy. It's a shame. We try to show people all this stuff. We want you to learn from this. We want you to learn from it. Go do your own coats. Go check everything out. Make sure it's sealed up well so you don't have to bring it in and spend the kind of money to have it fixed unnecessarily with something you can save with a tube of caulking. Call if you got questions. There's that Sprinter. The Copper Canyon Edition. That's actually a cool image on there. This is the one that's got the wall all delaminated on the back. Let's go take a look. How much you got? You got anything we can look at? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The audience wants to see this. You should have been ready. They want to see it. They're like, hey, what's wrong? Let's see. See all that? It's all rotted in there. Ooh, all that insulation is wet. Soaking wet. Ugh. That's icky. We gotta get some more screws out. We'll get a ladder. Yep. We'll do some more. We'll show you what we're up against. Here's our sprinter, fifth wheel. Look at the back of this thing. It is rotted out. We get this piece off, we'll show you more of that. Looks like this corner may have some damage. So, right now we're trying to get this off of here. Once we get this off, we'll show you just how bad it is inside. That is what we got. We got some truss ends that are rotted right there. Another one over here. At least it's got some water damage. We'll get up there and look at it a little closer. I'm gonna be concerned about this. Right now that feels solid, but it's it's wet. That is all soaked. You see how that just dropped like that? It's because it's all soaked. You see how wet it is. But this, here's the scary part. For all you big, heavy set husky guys who like to climb up on the ladder to check out your roof, this is how they fasten your ladder in. There's a staple right here, there's a staple here, and a staple in a staple. See? And then your ladder gets screwed right to here. That was the ladder. They see the other one up there? That's for the ladder as well. That's it. So, next time you climb up there, hopefully, well, Wonder if this thing gonna pop right out on you. That's it. That just popped right out. So we're gonna get all this out. We're gonna get a dryer on there. We're gonna mold kill this. We're not gonna take this out. This is the inside panel. So here's what we got. See the inside trim? So if, if we start doing that, we're gonna mess up all that trim on the inside. So what we're gonna do is nice and easy. We're gonna take this apart, get it all dry. We're gonna mold kill it and I'm gonna reinforce it with a rigid board. So it'll be solid. Then we'll get inside and we'll get it back to the rigid board so we can get any wrinkles that may be in the inside. We'll iron them out. So we don't have to go through whipping it all apart, looking for the new wallpaper, if it's in stock, who has it, will it match. Same thing with the, the Phylon on the back. We're going to clean it up. 
We're going to show you that in a minute. Then we're going to be looking at this board too. See? It seems pretty solid as we tap on it. But I want to make sure it's not rotted. And if it is, we'll take it out and fix it. If I have to fix that, we'll fix whatever we need to fix, make sure it's not rotted. We're going to take this too and make sure this is okay as well. You can what? see how damp it is. What year is that? But this is a 2013. 2013. Yeah. Now, he's got a mask on, not really because of this. He has one because this guy over here didn't wear any antiperspirant. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> There's a stingy place for He that. keeps calling him himself Bo when it's actually B.O. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go show you, let's go show you the other piece. All right, so we got that out. It's sitting right here. You see how rotted it is. But here's something else. This is just cardboard. This is the fiberglass is unlaminated. So this, there's your fiberglass. See the logo under there. This is a fiberglass piece laminated to cardboard. So we got to clean all this up. We're not going to laminate the cardboard. We're going to put a piece of uh, sheathing on there, and then we'll put it back together. But all this got to come off. Let's have it rotted. Let to dry that out. Let it sit overnight with fans on it. Get it all nice and dry so we can work on it tomorrow. Can't work on it when it's wet. And then we can uh, get it fixed up. So we will keep you updated on the Sprinter Copper Canyon Edition by Keystone. That's right. Thank you, Keystone, for this quality craftsmanship. This is our Sprinter update. Had the fans on all night. You can hear that crunching now. It sounds like we're good and dry. We're going to clean up all this here and uh, mold kill it. We'll get all this loose stuff off so we can get to repairing it. The good news is you can hear that. It doesn't sound rotted at all. That's just with my finger. We'll definitely replace this though. I don't like that. We'll put a solid stock in there so we have some good bite. Same with the ladder. I think we showed you the ladder yesterday where it was just the same thing. They just stapled that board going across. So we'll check up there too. Obviously anything rotted we're going to replace but we'll mold kill it and see if we can get this this thing back together. Still have to clean up the back piece and relaminate another piece of uh, Luan to the back and then all of that. Actually the Luan goes on here. Phylon gets glued to it. That's the way it goes. They do it all one piece over there at the factory. It doesn't even look like it was really glued. Here's a little bit of glue from the from that piece. It's supposed to have more than that on there. But they just had the cardboard on the back. So that's where we're at so far. We'll keep you updated with more to come at RV Roof Install. All right, Sprinter update. So what we did is soaked all this down with mold kill. So we're going to wait for that to dry. Obviously got some rot right here. This is where the ladder was. And I see the screws right there to the ladder. Right in there. You got the same over there in that corner rotted out pretty well too. So this is uh, RV version of TPO. This is it. Right here. You see it underneath there. This is just, you can see how rubbery it is. It's unstructured. This is what we put down. This is a commercial grade. Hopefully you can see some of those little, see if I zoom up a little bit, you can see some little squares in there. There's a screen, a mesh inside there. There you go. That gives it its strength. Now, we'll put these two together. We're going to get them down there pretty good. And so you can see the difference in how thick or thin this stuff is compared to ours. This is easily twice the thickness. Which, the advantage to that, if you want to get down even a little lower here, that stuff is super thin. So on ours, I'll pull this back for you. 
you can see that's a base right there and then you got the product on the top here but this RV grade isn't even as thick as our base you can see that because you can see the base on it. See it? You can see how thick that is. So it's a lot thicker. What that's going to do, especially on an RV, if you get a tree branch that comes down, it's going to have more impact resistance to tree branches, hail, those type things that come down. So that's what we'll be putting on. And then all they did on the edge here is they just put this thin piece of tape. It's just tape. It's just Okay. It's just duct tape. That's all it is. And then to run across the joint here, see that black line? They put drywall mesh. That's what that is, drywall mesh. So, it's as cheap as they can go, I guess. They'll think of another cheaper way. They'll, they'll do it for sure. Quarter inch roof deck right there. That's real thin. This is quarter inch OSB. That's all that is. So on ours, what we do is we put the strips down, see the strips, they'll be going down there. This one has a metal shoulder, but we still have protection on it, that's what that piece is. We glued all that down, and that protects it from the edge. We'll be putting another piece right here, once we get that all situated. This is a, this roof here has got to get glued this way, it'll get glued there, and then we got to glue it there. We've got to do it in three stages on this one because of the transition up in the front. But I'm just giving you an example. This one is the uh, Coachman Royal. That's what that is if you want to watch that video. So we'll be, like I said, tearing all this up. And then uh, here's a common leak right here. Right there now. Right there. All that water will trickle down this wire and get in there. And then you got a leak. Because right up underneath here is just where you install it. See the wire go in there. So it'll just go in there. And that'll run down into the roof deck and everything. So you'll have leaks there and then all they want you to do the RV industry wants you to keep going along and putting more caulking on here more caulking more caulking and uh, the only one who puts more on is a moron if you have to keep layering it there's a problem caulking is not a roof system so and this is also just a siliconized type of caulking anyways so well like a, it, it, it's, it's just cheap we use a commercial grade when we do all our sealants on here it's actually an adhesive sealant the structural grade adhesive in the seal. So it's like liquid nails on steroids. So that's what we're going to do. We'll end up putting a strip on here. We'll take one of these, put it just like this. And it'll go on and it'll sit and it'll cover that to absorb any sharpness off of this roof edge like that. That's what that'll do. And you're still going to take up a lot of things here. Take up this, this lens, take up the plumbing. The plumbing will make boots for these. But we won't even have any of that. We'll have a boot come up here that I'll fabricate. And once I get that, we have a sealer that goes inside. The plumbing pipe will be in there. The plumbing pipe is inside there now. So yep, we don't use any of that anyways. And we'll put a similar cap on there, but it has a spring and it'll snap inside there, which will hold it on. And, um, but you won't have all that to worry about at all. Same thing with these here, the vents in the skylight. These are all gonna be up on curbs. But look, you barely have any room underneath that air conditioner. And on a coach like that, like on this one in particular, see how it slopes down? I don't know if you can notice that. This one slopes down pretty good. It has a good angle down there. There's a lot of water that would rush down there. So that's why we get them up on curbs. And it'll actually help it drain better. But all they do is they put a piece of foam under there to kind of discourage the water. That's all they do with these. And again, it's cheap as cheap. Well, let's see what we got here. I'll take all this out for sure. Take all that out of there. And then um, we'll wait for all this to dry up. We may have to fix this. Got a little plate here, and that's to protect this so you don't put nails or screws through it. Smart idea, but, um, you know, to keep it protected for sure. But this may be rotted or compromised. We're gonna wait for it to dry. Like I said, we soaked it down. We got a similar situation over there. So we'll make needed repairs on it and um, make sure everything's the way it should be and put it back professionally. These RV centers are not roofers. I don't know anything about roofs. Just some kid gets out of high school, needs a job, ends up over at an RV center, and they go, yeah, just roll it out with some glue. And, and all they do is just roll it out. That's all they do. They don't get a big, heavy roller and really get some adhesion on there. They don't do that. 
So, but uh, anyhow, there's more to come on this for sure. We'll keep you updated on it. It's a gorgeous coach too. It really is it's a nice coach. So once we get through with it, if you think you're interested in it, let us know because I think the owner's going to sell this one only because he wants to downsize. He doesn't need a big old camper like this at all, but he certainly didn't want to sell a camper with a bad roof to somebody else. So other than what we're fixing right now, the coach is in really good shape. It's a 2013 Keystone Sprinter. So you can give us a call here at the shop and then we'll get you in contact with the owner and you guys can figure out and negotiate or uh, go from there. But we'll get it all back together for sure. You don't want to have any worries with it once we do it. We'll give the warranty to whoever buys it. Okay, this is our Sprinter update. This is Sprinter. This is our Sprinter update. You see we got some rod here. Get this fan put back on here. Thought it could get a little more dry. Then um, this corner piece was really rotted. We took that out. We're gonna restitch that wall back. That's what we're trying to do right now. Then this this little section was rotted, so we're gonna splice that in. The same with over there. And then this here is is rotted as well. And we're gonna fix this and probably this top plate right here. This one. So we'll get that. The same over there so it's almost identical on both sides so that's what we're gonna do I don't think we're gonna tear this whole truss out and uh, we're gonna fix that up mainly because there's a lot of wires and things and I really don't think it's necessary to start cutting them especially if I can fix it without doing it so that's what we're gonna do you got this is the wallpaper inside all we did is scratch off all the loose stuff and then we're going to laminate another piece behind it to give it some strength. It's just usually a piece of eighth inch Luan on there. And then they put the wallpaper on it. So that's what we're doing right now. And once we get all that in, in regards to this wall right here, that'll add some strength to it. And we'll get inside and we'll try to see if we can get that. There's a couple little wrinkles in the wallpaper. We'll see if we can get them out and get it to seat a little better. But uh, that's about where we're at right now with most of this. We just wanted to give you an update. Here's the rest of the roof, by the way. Is The rest of it seems to be okay. It seems to be pretty solid. I don't know if it's screwed down or not. So we may explore that. I mean, how well it's screwed down. I know I can see a couple of screws or something through here. But I want to see if it's glued down is merely what I meant to say. And I may explore that. A lot of times they do not, they do not put any glue on here. They just uh, fasten it down. Like I said, we'll check that out. But like I said, most of this seems okay. Most of this seems okay on here. Is that crank up antenna right here? We're not going to be replacing that. Hopefully, we'll be putting in a wine guard or something. Um, looking in that crack right there. Like I said, I don't think there is any any glue in this. Like I said, we'll we'll check her all out. And uh, we'll give you another update after a while. So there's more to come. Exciting day here at RV Roof Install. Exciting. All these different types of projects we work on. And now we got this back panel, the fiberglass panel. We've got it down. And we cleaned it all up. So we're going to laminate the original panel on the back, that fiberglass. One, it's expensive. So we want to save some folks some money that way. I'd have to get more decals. And also, if I put a new piece on there, it would just look terrible where no matter who's driving this thing, whether you're getting gas or whatever, someone's going to always ask you, what happened to the back of your camper? What happened to the back of your camper? So we're going to make it look original and put it all back the way it should, should be properly and have it all sealed up good. So we'll get back with you with more updates. All right, this is our Sprinter update. So what we're doing now is you can see we kind of loosened up all the edge boards here we loosened them all up we got the other edge over there we're gonna add some glue in here and refast them down but a lot of times what they do is when they build these this insulation out of the way a bit here's your 120 lines and the concern that we have is 99.99999 percent of the time i almost would want to say always because i haven't come across one that isn't on the 120 lines they have these ferrules those metal ferrules right there they have those and they don't use anything to protect the Romex. So you could be going down the road and you're going to lose power, maybe a breaker pop, and it will compromise. I don't know if you see that little scar right there. Nothing to protect this. 
this little piece are pennies. They're literally pennies and they don't want to put them in there. So we just open this up just to take a look at it. It's a nice coach. And I want to make sure now, and this one here, normally they're over by the wall. So we notice them way up in front here, or in the in the cavity more. So we got these ones on here, and that's what we're doing. We're checking to make sure they're all done. We're going along the whole thing, and then we'll, like I said, there's no glue on these. They've been getting cheap over the years. They've been just, you know, there's no glue at all. They just pop right up. They've got staples in them. You can see some of the staples. And the staples are a good idea, because the staples, if you keep putting screws in here, you'll split this piece of wood. So the staples are a good idea, but there's just no glue. It should really have some glue. So we'll reach in there and we'll glue it all back down and adhere it and obviously pull the insulation back and so forth. But these are all they are. They're just little bushings. These are uh, residential code and a commercial code for electrical on any situation like those barbs right here. These ferrules is what they're called right here. They're a uh, code to put in there so the wire doesn't get compromised from that piece. So the purpose of this is so you can't put a screw through it, so you can't put a nail through it or anything like that. Pretty smart, but you still got to protect the wire from this now. Again, these are pennies. So that's how cheap these RV manufacturers get. And this is uh, something that would concern me because I hate for someone to drive out of the shop and say, hey, my air conditioner don't work. Kind of find out this was on its last leg and that last turn or that last bump or that last shift caused it to breach. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to get all these set in there, get it put back down, roofing goes on and so forth. So. We'll keep you updated. Sprinter. We did the repairs on the ceiling in here. We got some new insulation. Fit in the end pieces here. We fixed all this here. Patch that in there. You can see all that white. That's all adhesive. See it all in there. So we glued and screwed it all back together. We got it all locked back in. We did a, a lock in here as well. So it'll add some strength to that. Then uh, now what we're doing is just going to get this decking back on. Then we did the same over here. We fixed the back wall. So we've got some rigid foam right here. The purple back there. The green is just to hold it all in. On the other side, if you remember, that was all paper, basically. So we just added some strength to it. So if somebody touches it or leans against it or whatever, it doesn't break through. And we did the same over here. Those are just braces. We'll take them off. We'll put the skin on there. Once we get the skin on, then the phylon can go back on, the one that we cleaned all up. So what we're doing now is just putting some adhesive down, and then uh, we put down the put the piece down, and we're ready to rock and roll. What we're doing now on this sprinter is we're resetting all the plywood. So we're getting the glue in there. Get that staple out. That staple right there? Yeah. Okay. go along the whole thing. Whether we lift it up or not, we're going to add more staples to it. Make sure it's down real tight. Alright, back in our sprinter. You can see we replaced that decking right there on the back end. We just haven't got the back wall yet, but we got all this glue going on. We're going to get the roof put on here pretty soon. Lots of glow. It's going to stick. back of the sprinter and we're just gonna start putting the skin back on here got to move this wire around here that's what we're doing now and uh, once we get that all squared away you see we put these these are rigid panels that we glued on here laminated them I'm gonna see if we can I don't know if you can see it or not but I'm banging on the back side of this and if you remember how soft it was now it's all solid so it's all nice and tight back there and then like I said we're gonna put the skin on here once we get the skin on here 
then we'll put the phylon on, start assembling the doors, put the window back in, and get the corner molds and so forth back in here. But we've got everything else all stitched up in here. Put these runners in here for support on the back so we can uh, get the sheathing to, when we fasten it on there. We're going to glue and fasten the sheathing on there. So that's what we're working on now. We're just getting some measurements up there. We're getting some measurements for some lights and so forth so we can drill our holes and we'll put it all back together. So this bottom piece was all rotted and it was just a thin piece. So what we did is we cut it up here. We put in some solid stock, some good heavy solid stock in here. Then we just stitched it up here with some uh, shear strapping, basically. Or in this case it would be tensile strapping because it's going down. But it'll just add to give some strength to it a little bit. Everything's all glued and screwed, pocket screws right in there. So and you can see we put these added pieces in here. They weren't in here, we put them in. And then um, same thing here. We got some plates back there to cover some wires. There's some wires back there. See those silver plates back in here. So the, um, that's where we're at right now. And we're just about to get it going. So rewired this here. There's a whole slopping mess of wires in here. This was connected to this to connect it to that. So we just got rid of all that junk and did it one splice. That's all you need. And uh, did the same on the other side over here. So we're just trying to clean things up and then we'll put it all back together and should be ready to go. This is the back of our sprinter. We've got it all framed back in. Put these pieces in here so we can put this skin on. We've got this uh, laminated skin going on here, this sheathing. We made all the repairs that we needed to make all the way up there. I don't know if we already showed you all that. We also fixed the bottom here. That was all rotted. Put in those straps, give it some more strength. Got some blocking in there that we installed. Got new sticks on the corner right there. Got another one up on this side. And uh, we got them up in the top as well. So we can see that when we get up there. We put this rigid board on here. This is where it was all rotted and we had just a, almost a wallpaper there. But you can go on the other side and bang on it now. It's got a lot of strength on there. So do the same, obviously, you can see to the other side over here. And we got it insulated. When we get up there, we'll run some more insulation up in the inside corner there. So right now what we're going to do is glue it and fasten it up on top here. That's what we're working on right now. There's the glue. There's the glue. We're going to commence the glueage. Commence the glueage. We're going to just fasten this on. All right, we got this back panel on. Get all our insulation in there. We got some adhesive on here. So we're getting ready to put the next piece up. But it's all glued and stapled in. Put a bond in there and then we're going to laminate the phylon back to that.